Okay, I'm going to scan the dashboard. Uh, using the other first in a large mode. See if it can scan the dashboard here. Okay, I start scan now. Resolution, I would say uh, one millimeter, one point five. Okay, let's say one point five. Here's the result from the um, author. We have three point five, almost three point five million point. Uh, I think this could be a reflection from the glass windshield. I'll, I'll cut the um, the seat out. Actually, it's very nice. I think the seat. I will cut this out here. Okay, so we have a good view of the interior, car interior. So maybe I can uh, verify the accuracy with a um, laser measure from one point to one point, and we verify the accuracy with the cloud compare. Okay, I do the laptop. Use the laptop unprocessed. As you can see here, that laptop don't see a lot of uh, objects. Uh, 1.5 we have a uh, one point uh, seven million by clouds. I can see it here that the uh, some part of the dashboard here is go up here. Uh, but you can see the speedometer uh, behind the transparent plastic. I match. Uh, I will match both of them to five million, and we compare it in the blender. And then I send the point cloud for uh, distance checking. Here's the measurement result from the point cloud. I measure this two point. Uh, the result is uh, one thousand two hundred and seven. And when I measure with the laser distance, I get uh, one thousand two hundred and six. So it's only one millimeter apart, and it could be that the location of the measurement is different. So I consider this to be uh, accurate for the distance about one point two meters here. Uh, here's the laptop that I use for uh, scanning the dashboard. Uh, it's the latest model, uh, 2024, uh, Tough A15. Uh, the CPU is, uh, it has an 8 core CPU, uh, Ryzen 9 8945H, uh, 8 cores. The memory is uh, DDD, DDR5, uh, 5600 MHz, uh, 32 gigs of RAM. And the GPU is RTX 4070. Uh, I've been testing uh, because uh, when I, I was scanning the dashboard, uh, I didn't have access for the AC outlet, so I used a battery that runs out from this uh, computer, and I noticed that the other uh, usually runs at uh, 30 frames per second in this laptop, which is its uh, maximum speed. Uh, this laptop gives the same scanning speed in both uh, other and latter, uh, same as my desktop, uh, which has a uh, which is the uh, uh, fastest uh, desktop PC available uh, today, RTX uh, 4090 and uh, 4900K uh, CPU with a very fast RAM. And uh, this laptop gives the same scanning performance as my desktop, so my desktop doesn't run any smoother than uh, this one. So you can probably get away with the uh, RTX 4060 and still have a good performance. So uh, when I was scanning uh, the author, I noticed that there is a frame drop because uh, I tested again that I didn't plug in with the uh, AC outlet. So when I pull the plug out, uh, when the scanner is connected, the frame drops uh, from 30 to around 20 something, 20 to 19 frames per second. So I checked that uh, this author used a lot of uh, uh, resource from the GPU and CPU at the same time. So 
it is necessary for the author uh, to use a faster laptop to get 30 frames per second scanning speed and uh, it's noticeably faster uh, than 20 when the laptop is unplugged so uh, I recommend that uh, you try to get the AC power uh, connect to your gaming laptop while scanning because same as when you're playing games the after you disconnect the AC adapter uh, your FPS in games will also drop too so uh, next uh, I talk about the laptop and the laptop a uh, strange thing is that laptop in the blue laser it runs at uh, 50 frames per second uh, strange thing is that when I unplug it uh, it gives the same speed so the laptop use uh, less hardware resources than the other so uh, this laptop can be used uh, with or without the AC adapter here so it always runs uh, uh, at the same performance in both the blue laser and uh, infrared mode in the infrared mode uh, it will run at 20 frames per second which is maximum speed uh, but uh, plug or unplug uh, the laptop gives the same performance but uh, the laptop itself is connected by the 12 volt uh, DC outlet so so one end of the this is one end of the laptop uh, it's a USB and this is a 12 volt uh, so if you want to use the laptop on the mobile without the without the um, AC outlet you need this cable adapter so I plug the uh, to the uh, power bank. Uh, this power bank is uh, 200 watts. Uh, the brand name is, uh, I know, I can't read it, it's too small. ZMI, yeah, it's CMI, uh, 200 watts. Uh, it can supply a uh, power to a laptop, so it's a, it's a laptop power bank. It can supply 12 volt 3 amps, and the uh, laptop requires 12 volt uh, 2 amps. So uh, you can buy this, uh, you say here, 12 volt, one end is the USB C, and one end is the 5.5 DC jack, 5.5 millimeters positive, and it has a chip in here that uh, when you plug it in it will call for 12 volts and you get uh, 3 amps maximum which is far beyond what the, the laptop required I test the power consumption of the laptop is uh, only 0.2 amps less than 0.2 amps on 12 volt so it's consume less power than the other so if you want to use the laptop on a mobile you need this one and you can use it on the laptop uh, without AC adapter gaming laptop, the modern one uh, RTX 40, 60 or more Okay, so we take a look at the scanning result from the dashboard. Uh, this was requested by a viewer. Uh, many viewer was the auto part um, making car parts. Uh, here's the result. The blue one is author and the red one is letter. Uh, as you can see here that uh, author has a more complete mesh because it doesn't lose the track at all when I was scanning it and it can even reach the rooftop here. So I think that you can actually use the author to scan the interior of a car if you have removed the windshield of course without any markers I scan it uh, smoothly and quickly I don't have any issue with the uh, losing track here we have a, a laptop near infrared uh, I lose track a uh, couple of times as you can see here that uh, when you lose track you have a ghosting which is uh, a part that is not supposed to be here and show up here uh, that is because uh, it loses the track it has much smaller uh, scanning area and beside that uh, I can see that the laptop can see less of a black and a metallic object. For example, the gear stick here is all gone. See, there is no gear uh, stick here, but it's here on the other, but it's not here on the laptop. And uh, when I try to track to the roof here, it will lose uh, its alignment. And I can see that the details of the laptop, you see this uh, button here, it looks like it's uh, not complete. But when you look here from the other, it's look uh, more complete, uh, a bit higher in detail. And you can uh, see very far to the floor here. The laptop cannot see through the floor in uh, general. I would say uh, Otter is a uh, real winner for car interior scanning and I have already checked the accuracy, it's uh, very good. Okay, thanks for watching.